I don't know everything. Even when I shared the video of how I made 100 plus videos in the past year on YouTube, just from iterating and finding a process that works best for me, I knew that I don't have everything the most perfect way. I haven't optimized for every specific scenario in terms of quality, in terms of improvements, in terms of how I can just make better videos, and I'm willing to learn. So shout out to theot3.gg for jumping on a call with me and sharing with me what I have absolutely wrong in my OBS settings and just some tips that I want to then share with you. The main thing I had wrong was my understanding of how downscaled resolution works. So this is my MacBook screen and I'm using the app one switch to with one click when I am in my studio, I can just say, Hey, this MacBook screen is now going to be 720 HI DPI. And that works great. So if you haven't used this, this is in the set app a subscription that I have, but if there's a screen solution option and I just have it to have 1280 by 720 and that's the HI DPI and this works great. So I can just say, Hey, here's one click on my menu bar and I am in 720. 20p. But the fact of the matter was, let me bring my OBS screen over here. The fact of the matter was, is that HIDPI with 720p is perfectly fine. It works great because everything's just naturally enlarged. I don't have to worry about, okay, is this too small? Is this too big? Usually it just works great. But in OBS, I was recording to 1080p. So if I go into uh, video settings, my base canvas and the output scaled resolution was 1080p which means 720 was trying to scale up to 1080p, which is not a perfect double. It's 1.5. And so with pixels, it just started to look bad. And when I was talking about uh, my specific text, and you can probably even see it just on the screen, the difference from the previous video, I can maybe put them side by side right here. It is night and day because it's actually doubling 720p to 1440. It's double. So now my text looks a lot better. So that was the biggest thing I had wrong. And then uploading to YouTube at 1440p uh, triggers that higher bitrate encoding. So I don't have to worry about uploading 4K. 1440p is perfectly fine. Another quick little tip that was a little bit annoying about my previous setup was if I needed for some reason to mute keyboard sounds and or just even increase them or decrease them at a specific point, it was near impossible because if I was talking over it, there was no way of doing it. But I knew that tracks kind of existed. I didn't know what they were for. I can set and you can kind of see here. I have my mic um, set to the second track only. And then I have a clack, which is my keyboard sound set to the third track. And so it just makes it easier to say, OK, here is one track dedicated to that keyboard sound. That way, when I'm editing, if I need to lower that or even raise it up, then I can do that. So look how much cleaner my text looks, especially if in code. So for example, if I'm in my let's go directory and I want to open this up in a code editor, everything just looks clean. Uh, the text is a lot more readable. There we go. The text is a lot more readable. Um, when I'm scrolling, you see things. Let's go to like the dashboard when I'm scrolling. It's not as uh, blurry anymore. And that wasn't a bit right. I thought it was a bit right. And it was just my screen resolution. So you learn something, you fix it and you move on, make things better the next time. So keep creating.